hi everybody welcome to my channel this is foothills creative agency in today's video i'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process of how i created this design for a client okay so if you are ready then let's get started all right so i already have my workspace so for the sake of this video i'll be dragging my resources from this already created artwork okay so first of all i want us to take the pen tool and then we create this shape and um, this curved shape we are seeing here i want us to create the same thing here okay so first of all you take a point and then you take another point on the other end but make sure you you still hold your left click and then you move it upwards all right and then you make sure you are holding alt okay and then you move your mouse to the point you created yes all right so now i want us i want us to enclose the shape okay so that um we have um, the shape you want to create yes okay so you can select um, any color you want but for the sake of this video I'll be going with this color mm. I'll be going with this color okay I might change it along the way though yeah so all right okay so i want us to create this white shape here so first of all let's copy the shape you just created so control plus j control plus j to copy it and then let's change the color to white okay now you can move it downwards a bit and then we adjust the angles okay this is okay all right so take the first shape that you created then let's copy it again and then this time around i want us to put it above all the layers okay and then you move it downwards yes Alright, so you can adjust all the shapes in order to get um, what you want here. Yeah. So for the sake of this video, I think we'll leave it here. Okay, so our next then the next thing we'll do is to bring in the image we are seeing at the background so i'll drag it from this this artwork all right but make sure it is beneath all the layers okay all right so what you are going to do next is to create um, the circles we are seeing here all right yeah. so for you to create the circle let's take the ellipse tool and then we create a circle but for you to get a perfect circle make you have to hold shift okay yes and then you take any color any color that you want but make sure this the ellipse tool is above all the layers yes so we will copy this same ellipse tool and then we we'll reduce the size 
in order to get a medium size right and then we'll copy it again to and then reduce the size to a very smaller one yeah so i'll put it on top of all the ellipse that we've created okay so we we'll put them in a group and then we can call it circle <laughs> yeah okay so now i want to create an individual stroke for each of the circles all right so this is how you go about it as you can see then increase the size a bit I think this is okay and then i'll do it for the medium size also yeah and then lastly for the smallest circle all right okay so now our next step is to bring in our images and then put them into the circles that we have created so i'll drag my images from this artwork yes so but make sure um the image is on top of the ellipse that you want to put it in so i'll bring it downwards and put it on the biggest ellipse okay yeah so now we want to put this image into the biggest ellipse okay so now i want you to um you right click on the layer and then you select um create clipping mask okay so in this way it enters the circle all right so we'll do same for the others also so let me drag my images okay so this is the image for the medium circle so you right click on the layer and then you go to create clipping mask all right and then we'll do it for the last one also so let me drag my image so let me just copy it control plus c and then i paste it control plus v all right yeah you can also hold on alt and then you bring your um, mouse pointer between the image and then the ellipse and then you left click yes as you can see it enters the ellipse too all right so now we can close our group okay so we are done with this part so the next thing we are going to do is to um add the name of the business events by spark the name and then the logo okay so i'll just copy i'll just drag them from this artwork and then bring it into the our workspace here yes so if you check the original design you see a faded rectangle under the name of the business okay so i want us to create the same thing here so let's take our rectangle tool then you create a rectangle under it and then you select a white color or you take a white color and then you reduce the opacity yeah very simple okay so the next thing we are going to do is to um add this we will add this um, rounded rectangle and then followed by the text okay so now let's create our rounded rectangle so let's take our um rectangle to then you create um your shape okay so i am using photoshop 2019 so whenever you create a shape and um, this box appears and then you adjust 
in the sides okay so i'll take 50 then the rounded sides up here yes so now let's bring in our text it says we are experts in event planning and management so i'll just drag it into our workspace yes and then increase the size a bit for you to fit the rounded rectangle yeah okay so since i am using a different color for this artwork i will change the color of the text so I'll give it the same color as the background. Yes. So let's continue with our text. So I'll just bring in um, the text we are seeing here. Yeah. So I'll just drag them into our workspace. yes this is cool okay so i want us to um, move the shapes and then um the circles upwards a bit so that we can have enough space um here okay so let's move it upwards okay yeah so we have enough space here so let's move these ones also yeah so before we continue i want us to create um a shape a rectangle here uh, so this is where we we'll put our contacts we we'll put the contacts here and all that yes so now we will we'll add the bullets here and um, this small yellow shape here and uh, we'll add it to our artwork and all that so here's it so i'll drag it in and then place it beside my text yeah so i'll group all the text including the bullets all right yeah so i'll put all of them in a group so that we can align them very well Okay. Yes. So we are getting closer to the end of this tutorial. So the last thing we are going to do is to bring in the contacts. Yes, so I'll just drag it into our workspace. yeah drag it here okay but make sure the text is in the middle of the rectangle okay and you should make sure it's in the middle of the rectangle because if you bring it upwards that's not the right thing so or if you bring it downwards here that's not the right thing it should be in the middle here all right yeah okay so i'll change 
the color of um, the name of the business also because this is not the color I am going with for the sake of this tutorial. So I will change it to the color I am using. So I'll just pick the color from here. Do same for the rest and also the fonts here in mean the text. Yeah, this is cool. All right, so the likes, the last thing we are going to do is to align everything. Okay. So we will align the name of the business and the circles over here and also the text we can see here. Yeah, so first of all, I want us to take this tool or you can simply use the shortcut control plus a okay and then it selects the whole artwork all right and then you choose your move tool yes so first of all you select and um, what you want to align all right so let's take the contact and then you tap on the center aligned okay so in this case it aligns your text in the middle okay so that you have a perfect alignment so we'll do it for the rest or the rest of the text and the circles yeah yeah so i think this is okay you know alignment is very important in your design okay so this is how you can create a flyer for an event planning okay so thank you so much for watching i believe you've learned something new then kindly subscribe to my channel like and then comment thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video